I've been reading through your comments, tweets, and emails. Heck, I imagine if I could receive letters and phone calls, I would be receiving those too. Green, Green has unfortunately passed away. And so has... Wow. Oh, look, the, the redstone is still running for the TNT dispensers. This place really took a beating, didn't it? Look at this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, Grian, unfortunately, has passed away. And, um, well, I mean, I think he wants to say a few words. So, let's meet up with the other bros, and I guess we'll hold a small funeral. Fellow bros, we are gathered here today to mourn. For the loss of a bro. Me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's weird that I can give my own funeral. Yeah. And my own eulogy. <sighs> it's a sad day. But I would be honoured if you, my bros, would lay me to rest here in the bro cave. Right here? Right now? Yeah, I've, I've made my own... I've dug my own grave. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and... But I've I've got I've got also something to say. Okay. Even though I've lost my dragon head, I still want to be considered a bro. So <laughs> in my inventory, I've got a dragon head. And it's called Secret Bro. And that means I'm oh I've lost it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, oh, God, oh no! He's oh, no. not one of He's us. Not... He's not one of us. <laughs> no. It means that I Will not demise any bro. Hand on heart. Oh That's good to know. I I will be a bro. Before you now, which which grave is yours? You could choose. Okay, so hang on. I just want to make sure that you because you know this is all well and good you saying this sort of thing, but I just want to make sure that you're not going to drop uh, down there and like hit really? a pressure plate or a button or anything. No, I mean that's good, that Mumbo. That's good. That's good <laughs> thinking. You never know. You know, you could just <sighs> drop in and just the whole place goes up because I mean we've seen what's happened to the inside of that dragon headquarters. You dead guys. You know you don't mess around. Uh, you can't put me. I'm a. Look, don't okay. make me get rid of this. Don't don't make me get rid of this secret bro helmet, or I will be after you. Okay, okay, fair enough. This is already not going well. <laughs> All, All right. right, there you go. One fork of friendship. Oh, oh no, no. sorry. <laughs> sorry. For some reason, I thought it would stick in you. Okay, but I thought, uh, yeah, uh, at funerals, I think you normally put things in the grave that remind you of them. Or you, <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> this is so weird. So I shot it at you. Just some of them. For oh, good luck. Thank you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank you. The stake and the rockets. Stake, stake rockets, <laughs> and and the fork of friendship. Uh, Perfect. Well, there is, there is another bro that has died as well. Uh, False. Do you want to get? Yeah. Do we, yeah. Are we doing a second uh, we, uh, funeral uh, today? Any, anyone want to say a few words about no, us? Sorry, dude. You're you're done. Uh, just... Get in the hole. <laughs> I'll, I'll say a few words. I don't mind. I don't mind. I've got I've got a little something something to oh, say. Okay. I can hear you still. <laughs> okay, good. Just, just just poke your ear through a little bit. Yeah. All right. So Grian was a great leader. He's oh. the one that converted me. Um I I was normal and lost and then one day I was found with a dragon head. So and beautiful part of this team and in his death and loss i vow to be the new leader of <laughs> this group and i will lead you with pvp that's not and we bad. will take no Burr, that's not oh. that's not boy you can't do that you wouldn't do that okay well i was thinking we just fight him but okay okay yeah. i won't do that then all right that's not <laughs> oh, okay well then rest may he rest in peace then Right, fellas, you're also dead. You can say some words as well, and then we can start Shall your I? you okay, can start your funeral that. as well. We'll like roll them into two because you know we're all short on time. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, I was on Green's side, and now I'm still on Green's side. So you know, this this works well for me. And um, well, I guess I just jump in the hole as well. I guess I we might as well just get it done. On, you know? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you seem you rather anxious to be yet. on the dead team. I, well, I mean, I can't. I haven't had no choice, really, do I? So she's not a secret bro. Oh, I, oh, <laughs> that is true. Uh, but uh, sure, I'll promise to not kill you. Okay. Oh, Perfect. thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay. You're welcome. Well, it's just you and me, dude. Um. <sighs> well, we got rid of the riffraff. <laughs> yeah. Now we can. Now we can talk about cameras and stuff. So obviously, this is all incredibly sad. Okay. We we need to. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It has made me very, very nervous 
about accessing any areas in my base. Like, big time. Like, seriously, big time. Even things like that are scaring me. I'm sure that's been there for ages, but now I'm scared. I'm just, I'm terrified of being at any areas in my base. I mean, you saw Kumpfan the other day. He was at my industrial district holding TNT, and he was at my base holding TNT. Is there, is there going to be TNT in Baloney? I mean, uh, that, surely. I am a bit worried about the fact that his eye seems to be missing. Maybe his eye's just been missing this entire time, and <laughs> I've never noticed it. So clearly I'm going to be paranoid for this entire episode, and probably for the rest of the season, to be honest with you, because even after Demise is finished, the traps are still going to be there. It is not, it is not a good situation. Okay, it's not. We've lost two bros, and I'm now, uh, yeah, my, my pants are soiled, okay? Probably shouldn't have admitted that. I uh, I probably shouldn't have admitted that. Anyway, well, there's one place that they can't get me, and that's my redstone testing world. So I'm gonna go there. You see, I'm starting to run a tiny bit low on diamonds, and I've been trying to think of good ways to get more diamonds without having to create shops or restock Sahara. <laughs> Essentially, I don't think I've ever received any of the profits from Sahara. By the way, I don't really know how that works. Um, either way, I need some diamonds. So. I've been playing around with some ideas for ways that we can get them, and I know that Cycraft use, like, gigantic diamond finder machines, and I thought I would try my best to do that, but on a slightly smaller scale. So I'm going to give myself a few hours of serious redstone development, working on various different designs and things. Who knows? It could go nowhere. If it goes nowhere, then I apologise. We're just going to leave the concept behind and not talk about it. But if we do come up with something, then that's great, and we'll start constructing it on the Hermitcraft server. So first things first, it's all about creating this little TNT duplicator, which that all seems to be working. So this is going to be generating the TNT that we use to actually create our kind of tunnel bore system or auto mining system. Now what we have to do is create a secondary system. Um, I shouldn't have updated that TNT, but you, we have to create a second part of the system which is going to shoot the TNT across because we have to do this horizontally and that's going to be actually mining all of the blocks. And then I should say the way that these things work isn't that we're going to be actually mining the diamonds using the TNT. That's kind of not the point. What it's going to do is it's going to blow up all of the blocks, revealing diamonds that then I can use a Fortune 3 pickaxe on and gather up all of the resources that way. So instead of being like a diamond miner, it's more of like a diamond revealer or shower. I mean, I don't know what the technical term could be. And of course, credit once again goes to the Psycraft guys for the concept. It's an awesome concept, and obviously they've done it on a ridiculous, ridiculous scale. I just want to be clear, in my head, this works absolutely flawlessly. It may not actually end up working. Okay, so power this. <laughs> that went a lot more vertical than I was expecting. That went a lot more vertical than I was expecting. And I think it's because the TNT actually lost quite a lot of its horizontal velocity because of the ice. So if we do something like this... Oh! Okay, that's that's not ideal. Hmm, what can we do here? I've also discovered another slight problem with our TNT duplicator in that it's not actually consistent with where it drops its TNT, which could definitely cause some issues. Because, yeah, that time it dropped it out directly where the TNT is. And that time it did it out directly where the TNT is. But sometimes it drops it behind it. Said, oh. yeah, this, yeah, I'm starting to understand why these machines tend to be quite large. I mean, here is the one that they built on the Psycraft server. <laughs> it's a big one. Um, uh, why am I taking on this challenge? Especially as all of mine have totally blown up. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. And after another couple of hours of work, uh, I still have nothing to show for it. Everything's blown up again, so I think we should just get back onto the Hermitcraft server. The problem is with those things, it feels like it should be so easy. All I have to do is duplicate TNT and then launch it forward at the correct time. That is it. That's it. I, it's winding me up that I can't seem to do it effectively. It's still frustrating me. I can't help but feel like I should get back to my redstone testing world and continue working on it, but I really need to do some stuff actually on the server. Okay, I can't help myself. I have managed to find a new TNT duplicator design that is smart because it shoots things forward. Now, that makes my life a lot easier because it means that we can catch that TNT. So we can catch the TNT as it fires forwards. We can catch it in a launcher and then launch it into the wall, so we we could be onto something here. All right, I don't want to get too excited, okay? But we could be onto something. See, look, here is the launcher, 
and this is the idea. So it goes across, that will launch it up, and then it will be pushed across by a top section. So that launcher as well now seems to be working. So if you imagine this TNT gets fired across, it lands in this area here between the wall and also between this block of glass, and then it gets shot upwards, and then we'll have something above it that shoots it into the wall, destroying the blocks. Am I kind of scared to test this? Yes, yes I am. But do I have confidence that it's going to work? Sort of. Let's ignite the TNT. No! No! No, no. I think the problem could be that the wall isn't pushing the TNT across enough. Right, let's try this again. And that has taken quite a lot of redesign work, but I've got a kind of concept here. So if we ignite the TNT again. All right, it is getting launched directly straight upwards. <laughs> Trust me, that was good. Okay, that was good. Even if it didn't look like it. Because that means that now our TNT will fire upwards and have enough space to actually clear these slime blocks, then these slime blocks can come across and shoot it forwards, and everything should now all be working, okay? Are we ready? I haven't made a backup, so this could be terrifying, and if I start crying, I apologize. Here we go. Yes! Yes! TNT is being moved! This is good. This is very good news. Because look! Placing TNT, boom, ignited, boom. As you can probably tell, pretty excited by that one. Very, very excited indeed. Let's combine the power of them, and then we have a little tunnel bore system. Looking pretty smart. I like the fact that I did this to make it smaller than the Sidecraft one, but it's ended up being quite big. Whatever, I'm still quite proud. Now, obviously, the timings of this thing are going to be dealt with by a master kind of flying machine type thing, but I'm going to activate this myself just to see if the actual concept functions. So first, this one will go. And then that one. Yes! <laughs> it actually works! I was very scared that the TNT wouldn't make it into the gap, but it seems to... How cool is that? So that's kind of like the holding chamber for the TNT, and then eventually this side fires at the perfect time, so the TNT explodes like two blocks away from the wall to really optimize the amount of exploding that it does. Oh my word, we've done it! Okay, okay, let's get back onto the Hermitcraft server now. And I apologize for sort of turning this Hermitcraft episode into a redstone video. Yes, by the looks of things, my AFKing over at the witch farm has been somewhat successful, but my, my redstone system that is meant to collect all of the redstone seems to have failed me. However, I now have a full shulker box worth and also all of the redstone in these hoppers, which is going to come in very, very handy for our very redstone intensive build that we're now working on. But I guess the big question is, where are we actually going to construct this thing? I mean, I guess the first thing that comes to mind is obviously my base, but there's plenty of reasons why I shouldn't do it. My base, number one being I've actually mined out most of the area underneath my base. So that means that, well, all of the, the precious resources and things are probably going to be gone. I could potentially do it on the next island along, but this, I believe, is going to be used for bee-related things, so that kind of takes it out of the equation. Obviously, we do have the industrial district, which it, it seems like it would be perfect for a build like that. It does seem like it would be perfect for a build like that. The more I think about it as a build... The industrial district seems like a good place to start it. But I kind of don't want to do it there. I don't know. I actually think this could be the perfect spot for it. Now, I'm probably going to do some removal of some of these chorus farms. I might even remove that entire farm. This farm is too laggy for the server. It breaks the server if I even run it. Okay? So, I think we could actually recycle this farm. <laughs> And we could turn this into the auto miner and turn this area here into the place where we're going to do auto mining. Yes, this seems like a good plan. This seems like a seriously good plan. I mean, just look at how many redstone blocks and redstone resources there are inside this enormous build and sticky pistons as well. This could entirely fund it, you know. Like, we could be in total luck here. Now, as I started doing this, I realized that actually it was going to take a lot longer than I expected because pistons take about five hours to actually mine through. So I thought it would be a good idea to do this in the form of a third-person time-lapse so you can watch as our wonderful, beautiful chorus plant farm. I had so much hope for this when I built it. 
it just it never ended up working. It's just it, it the, the whole server just comes to a halt as soon as you activate it. Uh, so we can watch as this thing just gradually goes down to the ground. But I thought during this third person time lapse, I would chat to you quickly once again about the Architect Sahara merchandise. I promise you this time I will remember to put a link down in the description. I'm such I'm such a spoon. In fact, we have to add one to the spoon counter for that because I totally forgot last time. <laughs> but yeah, the the Architect Sahara merchandise is is up. It is available. You can grab it. They actually just sent through one of the sweatshirt jumper things the other day uh, to my house, which I was super, super impressed by. It's really nice quality. It's super comfortable. And the t-shirts are fantastic as well. And they sent over some socks too, which I think was like a limited time offer, but they were comfortable too. I mean, it's all great. So if you do want to check it out a link will be down in the description i'm terrible at plugging things i really have the worst i'll be the worst salesman ever but i tell you one thing that i'm not terrible at it's gathering redstone resources from farms that i've previously built that was a terrible segue as well i'm not very good at that either well okay look look at this it was so worth be removing that gigantic farm that we never used because look at this <laughs> there were so many resources just sat there that is a nuts that is a nuts number of pistons and that is a nuts number of observers that is just all round nuts so yeah i i mean i i i couldn't be more chuffed to be honest with you um this is definitely going to be funding our little our little automatic mining project that is crazy. Now, what I really want to do with this place is I want to build an absolutely massive... Well, not massive. I think that's the wrong word. But I want to build a fairly big building above it. And that's where all of the storage system and everything like that is going to be going. I really want this to look fairly industrial. It's going to be a big project that is going to last me at least a handful of episodes. So it's something that I really want to put a lot of time into. And that means that we need plenty of space. So that means, unfortunately, also this part of the chorus farm is also going to get removed. I wish there was an easy way for us to get lots of chorus in an industrial fashion that doesn't totally break the server, but there's not, so I might as well remove every part of it. You know what I've just realized? In this entire Hermitcraft episode, I have not constructed anything. Like, I have not built, I've not added anything to the server. I have only removed. Is that the first time that I've done that in an entire Hermitcraft season? It must be. I mean, sure, I've spent like six or seven hours in a redstone testing world, but that's that's beside the point. I haven't actually <laughs> actually done anything on the server. So I guess we should probably go and do something about that. I mean, I should probably get myself set up with some form of construction, and I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do. I just need to dump all of these resources, which once again, I have tons of. And let's get to work on constructing something. I know this is super typical, but I have no clue where... I don't know where my redstone shulker box has gone again, so I'm just going to leave a lot of my redstone resources in this chest. Please, please remind me. And also remind me that it's not called a chest, it's called a shulker box. This is 2019, come on now. So this, this here is going to be my build. Hopefully I have enough diamond blocks. I do. Not quite. I mean, that's okay, that's good. Little door there. Boom, boom. And then I would say... Diamonds coming soon. Now, I, ha I hate to say it, I have used all of my available diamonds. I've also used all of my available typing skills by the looks of it. But yeah, I've used, that is, that is all the diamonds that I currently have, which is a bit embarrassing, especially when I'm next door neighbors with someone like Scar, who I know has a ridiculous quantity of diamonds. So we're going to improve this, and obviously the diamond machine is going to help us out massively. But, um, yeah, that wraps things up for today. It's been a lot of planning in today's Hermitcraft episode. The next episode is going to be dedicated to getting this thing underway and all of the construction starting and probably a little bit more redstone testing as well because, yeah, I really don't want to build this and have it not work as it's a huge project. So, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya! Now look, I'm about 99% certain I haven't been a total moron and I haven't forgotten to put the link down in the description to the merchandise store, but you know, there is a chance I have been. So in which case, I'm going to do this the old fashioned way, I'm going to read it out to you, okay? Architect... Oh, no, no, I got it wrong! Architect.tmill dot com okay that is it okay so please go there because i might have forgotten i probably have i'm st i'm stupid